Hello everyone, welcome to session 103 of Selenium training. In this session, I am going to explain how to handle the random activities using Selenium WebDriver. In this session, I am going to explain how to handle handling random activities using Selenium WebDriver. Okay. So, using Selenium, if you want to perform some actions randomly, okay actions randomly let's say if you have like uh, 10 buttons if you have 10 buttons let's say okay if you have 10 buttons like this okay so assume that there are 10 buttons and you want to write some selenium automation code in such a way that when you run the code once it may click on any button randomly it has to click on button let's say it has to first time clicked on second button and again when you run for the same program for second time it may not click the second button. It may randomly choose another button. Let's say it may click on fourth button. Third time when you run, it may click on second button itself or it may click on 10th button, first button, okay? But the, uh, the, but the automation code that you write won't run the same button every time. Instead, it should randomly click on any particular button to automate such kind of scenarios, to automate such kind of scenarios where you have to randomly select a button every time you run the script. Okay, you have to perform these random activities using Selenium WebDriver. How Selenium WebDriver can handle these random activities is the topic. So how it is possible in Selenium? Okay, how is it possible in Selenium? So in Selenium automation, we may require to perform some random activities like below, like randomly clicking in on a link out of set of links. For example, Let's go to omega.blogspot.com. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six links are there. So whenever you run the automation code, your automation code should randomly click on any of these six links. Okay. When you run for the same automation code second time, it may randomly select another link. Okay. So randomly it should click on some link, such kind of programs we have to write. And at the same time, if you want to randomly select checkbox options or ready options, for example, in the same application, here there are two options. Okay, you want to write some automation code which selects sometimes which selects male option. When you run the same automation code next time, it may it may select female option. It randomly selects this ready options, any of these two options. Okay, such kind of programs if you want to write in Selenium, how it is possible? Okay, such kind of random activities like uh, clicking on a link or from out of set of links or selecting a checkbox out of a set, set of uh, checkbox options or selecting a radio option from a set of radio options, such kind of part and many other, many other, many more guys and many more. Okay, if you want to do the same thing with Selenium, okay, if you want to automate such kind of things using Selenium, how it is possible in Selenium, how Selenium handles the random activities. So, Selenium automation depends on a predefined class called random okay and this random class belongs to in order to perform such kind of random activities like selecting a link out of set of links or selecting a radio option out of a set of radio options or selecting a checkbox out of a set of checkbox options selenium web driver depends on a predefined class known as random clause okay this random clause belongs to java guys okay java api Okay, the random class doesn't belong to Selenium. The random class belongs to Java API. Let's find it out. There's a predefined class in Java API. Just search for Java 8 API here. Okay, so go to the documentation. Control F, search for random class. There is a predefined class known as random in, sorry, this random, known as random in Java API. Okay, Java, which has this random class can be used to perform that. Okay, it can randomly generate a number. Selenium WebDriver depends on this random class. And in this random class, in this random class, we have some methods. In all these methods, we are going to, going to use, we are going to use this method that is uh, next int, which intakes some integer. Okay, which intakes some integer. Next int of some integer value it will take. This method, this is a predefined method of this random class. So random class and its predefined method next next int int. This two 
from the Java API need to be used. Will be used by Selenium WebDriver to perform such random activities. What is that? Next int of okay some int text int number. You have to pass some integer value into this next method. Next int. So random class plus next int. Okay from Java API need to be used to generate. So first of all, before I demonstrate some Selenium programs which actually handle the random activities, first I will explain how to use this random class and next int predefined method of this random class. So fine. <clears throat> so yes, if I say next int of hundred, I will explain this stuff. I will explain this stuff. So what is this random class and uh, how it how it uh, is related to randomness? All the uh, all those things I am going to explain now. Right click here, select new, select project, select Maven, create a Maven project. Click on next, next, next. Here say handling random activities, handling random activities. Let it load, expand, delete this app test dot Java. Right click on this new class demo one. Public, static, void, main, string of box. This main method inside the class I just created. Now in this method, I'm going to demonstrate the Java's random class. Okay, there's a class in Java that is random class, which can be used for, what is the purpose of this random class? What is the, uh, what is the actual purpose of this random class? Random class, when you use along with this next int, will generate a random number, random number, okay? You have to input some value into this next int. In that range, a random number will be generated. For example, random, random is equal to new random. Let's create an object for this random class. Okay. Over the mouse on this random in, import it from Java package. Okay, Java, import it from Java. Now say, using this object reference of this random class, random dot, Next int. This is a predefined method we have to use. In this, two methods are there. Next int. Uh, we should not use the first method. Instead, we have to use the overloaded method, which has the int as intake, integer as intake. Okay. In this, you have to pass any number. You can pass ten. You can pass five. Okay. You can pass hundred. You can pass thousand. You can pass. You can pass any type of number. Okay. Any range of number you can pass here. So no matter what type of number you pass, it will take it as a range. For example, you pass a number say five, okay? In next int, if you say five, okay? This next int method will return you a random number. Int random number is equal to, okay? Random number is equal to. So if you give the range as five, this next int method will generate, randomly generate a number, okay? When you execute this program for one time, it may generate some random number say zero. Next time it may one, two, three, up to four. Okay, if you give five, a random number will be generated in the range of zero to four. Okay, out of all these four, uh, five numbers, any of the number may be returned into this random number randomly. It will be done randomly. Now let's say system dot out dot print Alan. If I if I try to print this random number, you will understand this guys. Okay, now let me run this program. If I give the number five, so in the range of zero to four, the random numbers will be generated. Let me run this program. This time one got printed next time four randomly it is generating guys this random number is four this time next three next zero one one three three two zero four three you see randomly the number is getting generated uh, to get a feel what i will do here is i will provide a for loop for int i is equal to zero i less than 100, 100 times I will run this loop, the same logic, the same logic I will run, run 100 times so that every, in every iteration, a random number will be generated, okay? I don't have to run the same script 100 times by clicking on the run button. Instead, I can put this code inside the for loop so that the same logic will run 100 times and each and every time it runs, it will generate a different random number within the range of zero to four, okay? Because we gave the number as five here. Sorry, uh, save it and then run it, you see? 100 times, 0, 1, 4, 3, 3, 3, so 2, you see within the range of 0 to 4, 5, uh, 0 to 4 only are there. If you give the 5, 0 to 4 will be there. What if you give 10? 
random numbers in the range of 0 to 9 will be generated 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay 5 6 7 8 9 will be generated let's say let's run the same logic in 100 times okay for loop and see how the random numbers are getting generated you see 2 6 1 9 6 5 0 0 to 9 whatever you see you are not seeing any anywhere 10 if you give 10 it will be from 0 to 9 what if you give 100 0 to 0 to 99 within the range of 0 to 99 a random number will be generated here and that random number will be printed run this you see within the range of 0 to 99 this values will be what if you give 1000 0 to 999 a random number will be generated you see 0 to 999 like this like this what are the number you input within the range a random number will be retrieved and printed here that is the purpose of the random class case this is the logic how the random class will work this java concept will apply to the selenium okay this java concept of generating a random number every time will can be applied to the selenium programs selenium programs so let's okay let's <coughs> create some automation scripts that is using selenium automation code selenium automation code will use with will take the help of this random class in java and its predefined method next int to perform some random activities on set of web elements okay for example for example i want to randomly click on a link okay out of all these six links let's say here i open this link application and in that in one of the section your requirement is to randomly click on any of the six links one two three four five six are there any of these six links you have to click every time i run the program a random a random link should be clicked that's a problem that is a requirement so for that let's create a program guys right click on this package say demo to create the main method here inside this create a main method public static void main string of ux web driver driver is equal to new chrome driver okay write the selenium automation code here you, have, you cannot import because this form.xml file should have the selenium jars so go to mvn repository search for selenium java search for selenium java you get this thing now go to 3.14 copy these dependencies and paste into this dependency tags. Uh, put a tab here so that it will be aligned. Done save. Now go to the demo2.java. Over the mouse on this web driver. Import. Chrome driver. Import. Now here write web driver manager dot. Okay. This should be downloaded again. So copy this web driver man uh, search for web driver manager on the Google. Web driver manager. Search for this open okay scroll down we'll get a dependency tags for web driver manager from boni garcia of github okay so go to this pom.xml file again and uh, paste those dependencies of web driver manager in these programs okay so let's align it properly and save it done over the mouse on web driver manager and import now say web driver manager dot chrome driver dot setup driver dot manage dot window dot maximize driver dot get give the application url in which you want to perform the operations so copy this url copy this url now say now say you got this url you got this url now say so We'll go to the application now let's find the count of these links how to find the count of these links guys by looking at the application you can say that there are six links right but if you want to do it in a selenium way how to get the count of these links there are six links how to get this count of the six links in this session okay inspect this somewhere inspect this and uh, 
on the top of this it is starting from somewhere we have to create an x path in such a way that all these six links are located sorry let me inspect it again when somewhere right click inspect this is the top this is again top some under this div under this div this ul li is there so an id is there here link list one is there we'll start with this we'll say control f double slash div at the rate id is equal to this id link list one so this id got located when you hover this complete section is getting highlighted expand that expand that you got some div here under that div child is there again click and it got closer now under this ul is there slash ul you say okay again under that li is there slash li you say so if you say slash li you see two of six came under every li there is a anchor tag right we have to go to that part a okay anchor tag so how many if you trigger this x path okay maybe in firefox browser let's say properly it will locate properly okay this x path if you trigger in uh, firefox browser using that add-on Click here and paste the XPath here. Whatever you generated XPath in the Chrome browser, paste it here and click on execute. You see, when I click on execute, all the six links got are getting highlighted. That is the XPath. Okay. Use that XPath, copy that XPath, which will give you the count of the links. Okay. If tomorrow at this location another link gets added up, this this XPath will gen will give the count as seven, not six. Okay. It is very dynamic. So now I'll say driver dot find elements to find the count of the links by dot xpath I will say in this xpath I will paste that xpath that I have just now generated here at the end I will say dot size this will give me the number of anchor tags in that section okay so this will return you count int links count links count is equal to this one okay now let's say there are six links if you get this answer as six but every time out of six i should generate a random number i should generate a random number for that i will create a user method here public to generate the random number well i'll create an user method public static void okay generate i'll create a usable method okay user defined method random number here int some number you have to pass to this method it will take the number here java code you will write random random is equal to new random and here you will say import this random class from the java now here you will say random dot next next int of next int of this number you will pass to this okay whatever the number you pass to this method that will be passed to this next int if you pass 5 the range will be 0 to 4 if you pass 10, the range will be 0 to 10. Red return type will be int. Int r number. That is random number. Okay. So after this random number is retrieved, I will say return this r number. Return this r number. So for returning the r number, the return type should be int. Now here, what I will do here, here is here I got the count of the links in my page. This links count is nothing but since we know the number of links on that section, six is there. This links count will be six, right? I will pass this links links count to this generate random number method here. Okay. In this method, I'll call this method with this links count. Since we have six links, the random number should be generated within this six links only, right? It should be from zero to five. Int random number. Random number is equal to generate random number of links count here links count is like how many links are there that links are links count that links count in in that range of links count you are generating a random number it may be from if the links count is six it will generate a random number from number from zero to five right zero to five now guys using this random number we are going to click on a specific link how to click on a specific link for that again you need to create another x path here just provide some circular brackets 
around this and say one. If you say one, okay, if you say one using this XPath, the first link is getting highlighted. If you say two, the second link, new source is getting highlighted on the UI. If you say three, third link. If you say four, fourth link. If you say five, fifth link. If you say six, sixth link. Like this, these numbers are getting generated. But the numbers are from one. It starts with one, not zero. If you give zero, nothing will happen. You see, if you give zero, nothing will be located because in X path, the index starts from one, not zero. Okay, you have to give from one to six. So you can give any number here. That that link will be if you view three third link will be clicked okay third link will be located copy this and uh, here say driver dot find element by dot by dot we are going to make this xpath dynamic guys okay we are going to make this xpath dynamic now okay i will say dot click if you give this direct xpath here it will click on the third link because three is there it will click on the third link from that six links but I want to click a random link. For that, I need to pass this random number in place of three. If you generate a random number and in the range of six links, if you generate a random number and give it an input to this uh, X path, okay, it will click a random link, right? That's what is the concept. You have to break this X path into three parts. Okay, so three is variable here. Instead of three, you have to give a random number. Instead of three, you have to give a random number. But guys, sometimes random number will be zero. Sometimes random number will be returned as 0 to 5. 0 to 5, right? 0, 1, 2, 3, 5, 4, 5 may come. But if you get this random number as 0, if you give 0, this X path will not work. Because in X path, 0 will not be there. From 1, it will start. That is the reason. What you have to do is, you have to keep a bracket around this random number and say, plus 1. If you get the random number of 0, you will, you will get 1. If you get the random number of something like 2, 2 plus 1 is 3. Yet 3 will be there. Okay? Like that. So we are just modifying the things for our needs. Now guys, when I run this program, when I run this program, I will also print the random number here, okay? I'll also print the random number before clicking the link so that will be, a, will be clear of what is a random number and which link got clicked. You can actually say random number plus one because you are passing random number plus one, right? So let's print random number plus one. Random number plus one also is random only, right? Whatever the random number is generated with plus one is random again. It is also a random plus one is also a random. So let's print random plus one and see whether that appropriate link is getting clicked in the application or not. Let's run this program. For the first time, let's see which link is getting clicked. You see compendium dev got clicked. Okay, compendium dev got clicked. So here one, one came. That's why first link got clicked. In the application, this compendium div got clicked and you got this compendium div link. Now let's run it for a second time and see which link will be clicked. And running for a second time. This time another link may get clicked or even the first link also may get clicked. It is very random, right? We cannot say anything. This time, again the same link, you see, the same link got clicked. That is one. Again run it. This time let's see which link will get clicked. It will not be one every time, but okay, it will be random. Sometimes one, one, two, three, something like that. This time you see the automated tester, a different link got clicked. The number of that link is sixth link, last link got clicked. Now run it again. Now run it again. This time let's see which link will be clicked. It clicked on the third link. Okay, that is only testing block blocks for that commit clicked. So third link. Like that randomly it will this automation code, this automation program will click on the random link. Okay. Similarly, let's write another uh, let, let's take another example. Okay. Other than this random link, we'll take a very simple example. So the example here is I, I have to create a random automation code which will randomly click on any of these options. Sometimes it should click male, sometimes it should click female. Randomly it should done. It should do that job. Okay. For that, let me create a new class. Similar kind of thing, but with a different example. I am giving you a different example here. Public static void main string of arcs.
So here I will say web driver. Driver is equal to new. Chrome driver. Okay, web driver driver is called new Chrome driver. Over the mouse, import. Sorry. Let me import this Chrome driver also. Okay. Now, web driver manager dot chrome driver dot setup now driver dot manage dot window dot dot maximize now driver dot get driver dot get here i'll give the application url as input to this get method so it will open that application in the chrome browser after this i have to find out how many radio options are there in this set so there are two radio options how to retrieve this count inspect this so inspect this so here there is some you need to create an x path like this double slash input at the rate name is called gender double slash input at the rate name is equal to gender you see two of two two of two okay when you press enter again one so two radio options are getting highlighted using this x path single x path so copy this it is returning you two elements so i'll write a program like this driver dot find elements you have to say by dot x path here pass x path that will return you the two radio options so it will return you list of web elements right that is radio options you can say radio options is equal to over the mark create local variable so you can do either like this or or directly say dot size here just keep dot size here it will return you instead it will return you the number number of number of radio options is equal to okay number of radio options now guys we got the count of the radio options here now we got the count of the radio options here now what i have to do next is we are going going to use the same reusable method copy the same reusable method which i created in the previous example demo 2 i created a get random number reusable method right copy this into the demo 3 also it will be used everywhere okay the logic will be same for generating the random number logic will be there it will take some number and it will return you a random number in that range whatever the number you give in that range a random number will be generated so you have to pass this random number to this get random number method okay let's pass this number of radio options whatever the count you get here mostly will get the count as 2 the size as 2 the 2 you are passing to this get random number out of 2 the range will be 0 or 1, right? Random number, two random numbers may be returned. Only very less possibility. But uh, the return time will be in the random number. Okay, random number. Now here say system.out.println. Since index will be 0 here, sometimes 0 will be returned, sometimes 1 will be returned because here 2 is there. Number of radio options are 2 only here. So if you pass 2 to this generate random number, it will either return 0 or 1. Okay, 0 or 1, it will return. Or else you can also make this something like this plus plus random number also you can return okay if you want to make it a one two and all you can say plus plus random number it will directly give you one or two one or two will be returned directly you don't have to do it will be very simple right you can actually do plus plus if the if the returned uh, uh, random number is zero it will add one and send it directly from here only we are adding the number you don't have to do it here so here now we got the random number right either the random number return will be either one or two here because of this plus plus logic okay now here i will say Driver dot find element by dot x path. I have to create an x path in such a way that okay, it will click. I'm saying clicking, clicking on a respective radio option. So I have to create an x path in such a way that it should have a random variable. Okay, variable should be there, it should be changing. So for that, here to this x path, open this, put this uh, circular brackets, say one. If you say one, male option is getting highlighted. You see, if you give two here, female option is getting highlighted. Such kind of X path you need to create and then pass it to this X path. Now break this X path into two parts, three parts. Here this two is variable. It can be one or two. So plus this random number, simply you can place it here. Okay. This random number is already incremented by one. So you don't have to say random plus one here because it's already incremented and sent okay fine so now this program should be in a position to select 
ran uh, the ready options randomly out of these two ready options every time you run the script sometimes male option will get selected sometimes female option will get selected you can see that okay let me run this program and see whether the ready options are getting selected in a random way or not this time male option got selected guys male option got selected let, let's run it again so for the second time again male option got selected now let's run it for the third time when you run it for the third time you see this time female option got selected like way every time you run this program random ready option will get selected sometimes male option sometimes female option we can't say anything it will be very random okay let's run for the fourth time this time again male option got selected so it will be very random guys so this is how you can write the automation code uh, in selenium which uses random class and its predefined method to generate a random number and finally click on the random links or select radio, uh, random radio options and so on okay this is how you can handle the random activities in selenium web driver with the help of random class in java and its next int predefined method of random class in java okay so that's it guys see you bye